and welcome back to our RV DIY project video series. If you asked me what the number one maintenance problem is for RV owners, my response would be batteries. There are lots of reasons for this, like undercharged and overcharged batteries, but the real culprit is the battery discharging while the RV sits in storage. Batteries self-discharge over time and need to be monitored and recharged, but parasitic loads can drain and kill RV batteries quickly. Some RVs come equipped with battery disconnect switches that help prevent discharging, but lots of RVs don't. Today we're going to look at an easy and inexpensive do-it-yourself project that can save your RV battery and your wallet. Let's get started. If your RV isn't equipped with a battery disconnect switch, there are parasitic loads that can drain the battery. Some examples of parasitic loads are clocks, stereos, LP gas leak detectors, appliance circuit boards, or accidentally leaving a light on in the RV. A battery that is discharged and not recharged in a timely manner will be ruined long before it should be. To help prevent this from happening to you, you can install an inexpensive battery disconnect directly on the RV battery. This is a battery disconnect I had in the shop, but you can pick one up at your local RV dealership or at most auto parts stores. Let's install it right now. Caution: Lead acid batteries are corrosive and explosive. Remove any jewelry and always wear safety glasses and gloves when working around lead acid batteries. When you purchase a battery disconnect, make sure it is rated for the load that is on the battery. The first step is to disconnect the battery cables from the battery. Always disconnect the negative cable first, followed by the positive cable. This is a good time to clean the battery terminals and connectors and to check the water levels in serviceable lead acid batteries. Keep in mind some batteries are maintenance free and don't allow caps to be removed for inspection and maintenance. Attach the battery disconnect to the negative battery terminal and tighten, but do not over tighten. With the lever on the disconnect switch open, reconnect the positive battery cable on the battery and tighten but do not over tighten. With the lever on the switch still open, connect the negative battery cable you removed from the battery to the opposite end of the disconnect switch. Make sure you have a good connection. Test the battery disconnect switch by closing the lever and checking if there is 12 volt DC power going to the RV. Now when you are not using the RV or it is in storage for periods of time, Raise the lever to disconnect the battery from the RV. This will prevent the battery from discharging from parasitic loads. This is a super easy RV DIY project you can do in less than 30 minutes and it can save you hundreds of dollars on replacement batteries. Keep in mind that batteries do self-discharge and need to be monitored and recharged periodically when they're in storage. If you're not comfortable working around lead acid batteries, have the disconnect switch installed by a qualified RV service facility. Now that we have our battery installed, we can install our electric tongue jack. Stay tuned at our RV Education 101 YouTube channel. Happy camping.